Have you seen this photo? Of course you have, it's the backrooms. The backrooms have been around since 2018, but Kane Pixels has popularized the backrooms from his analog horror video series. His series is mainly created with CGI, so the backrooms are fake. But this image isn't CGI, it didn't come from Kane Pixels. It's a real photo that someone took in a real building. So today, I'll try my best on finding the location on where this photo was taken and explain why it's creepy. Thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers. That is insane because on my last video, I was thanking you guys for 5,000 subscribers, but now we have doubled our sub count within a video. That is ridiculous and I can't thank you guys enough. We are 10% there on reaching the Tuv collab. And of course, 100k. Like, 100k, that does mean a lot to me. But of course, thank you for everyone subscribing to my channel. And speaking of collabs, this video is a collab with Virtual Carbon, who is another small channel. And he has a video series where he tries to find the original image of the back rooms and trying to find the real life location of the back rooms. And right now, he is the only person who's talking about the origins of the image on YouTube. So since he did inspire me to make this video, why not have him on the video? So that's what we're doing today because Virtual Carbon and I are going to try to find the origins of this image. But before we get into that, don't forget to check out my YouTube membership and of course, follow me on Instagram. Oh yeah, and don't forget to check out Virtual Carbon on YouTube and on Instagram because I will have his links in the description below. Like I've mentioned in my intro for this video, the backrooms image has been around since 2018, but Kane Pixels, the creator of the backrooms found footage series on YouTube, made an extremely, extremely popular video on YouTube with almost 30 million views. That is insane. And on his video series, he did establish the lore for the back rooms. But I'm not going to be talking about the lore in this video since I am making this video to talk about the image and where it came from, not the back rooms lore. But I will briefly summarize the lore for like maybe 20 seconds. I am not going to spend too much time on it because, like I said, this video is about the image, not his analog horror series. And in case if you want me to summarize the backrooms lore, don't forget to check out my last video on where I talked about the backrooms. So before I talk about the origins on where this photo came from, I do have to explain why the photo is creepy and why is it so popular. Because that is very important to understand why so many people care about the origins of the photo. The Backroom Series The Backroom Series is made by Kane Pixels, who is only 16 years old by the way, which I did not know that. That is insane. But in the series, you see Kane falling into the back rooms, and when you fall into the back rooms by mistake, it's called no clipping. So Kane no clipped through reality and fell into the back rooms, where monsters will walk and hunt you down in the back rooms. In the lore, there's many levels, which are different buildings that does not look like the original image, and they look like this instead. Yeah, pretty creepy. In this series, there's also a lab called Async where they experiment with the backrooms, which I won't cover since I already talked about that in my last video. And like I said, this video is about the origins of the image, not the analog horror series. But all of those monsters and levels are useless for this video since there is no correlation to the original image. So yeah, I decided to talk about Kane Pixels a little bit just because if it wasn't for him, the backrooms wouldn't be so popular since he is the one who popularized it with his very viral backroom series that he does post on YouTube. So why is this image creepy? When you look at this image, don't think about Kane's series, and don't think about no clipping or the monsters. Just look at the image. Isn't it creepy? But why? The place looks familiar, and it feels like you've been there before. Maybe in real life, or in your dreams. That's because this image has something to do with liminal spaces. Liminal spaces are similar to the Uncanny Valley, which, in case if you do not know what the Uncanny Valley is, is basically robots or animations that look human but aren't. The creators of the robots, VFX, animations, etc. try so hard to make something look like human but there is something off. Like it's obviously not a real person but the creators tried so hard to make it look human which doesn't look right. 
if you want to learn more about the uncanny valley, go watch Tub's video on it. Liminal spaces are similar to the uncanny valley, but instead of humans that don't look right, liminal spaces are actually buildings that don't look right either. Something's off about them. From what I'm seeing is that the buildings are empty. You never see anyone in those liminal photos, and in a weird way, I feel nostalgic while looking at these images, since I feel like I've been there before, or at least seen them in my dreams. People are actually scared of these photos, since a popular fear is the unknown. These photos look familiar but different at the same time, making these photos feel like you're in the unknown and gives you an uncanny feeling. Some of my favorite liminal photos are actually the early 2000s McDonald's. Because, as you may know, for some reason 2022, a lot of McDonald's restaurants are gray and very dull looking, which I don't know why. Because back in the day, McDonald's restaurants were filled with color, but now it's gone. So when I look at old McDonald's photos, I feel nostalgic, but when you Google a photo and you get one of these, yeah, I remember that building, but it feels dead because I don't see anyone there and it gives me an unknown feeling since I'm used to seeing that building filled with people and plus I haven't been there in many years since 2022 McDonald's doesn't look like that anymore. There's one more liminal photo I want to talk about right before we get into the origins of the backrooms photo and I know that's the whole point of this video but knowing what liminal photos are is very important to why people care so much on finding the origins of the backroom photo because the original backrooms photo is literally a liminal space image. They're both the same, so understanding what a liminal photo is shows why people care so much on finding the original spot where the backrooms photo was taken. But the photo I want to talk about is this Walmart McDonald's photo. I 100% know I've been there because I have, but when I'm there, it's filled with so many people because it's a Walmart. But since it's a photo that is empty, it gives me this eerie feeling which makes the photo uncanny and uncomfortable to look at. But are you guys afraid of liminal space images? Because for me, it doesn't bother me, but I do understand why the image can make someone feel uncomfortable. It doesn't for me, but I do understand why. So what are your guys' thoughts on liminal space images? Where was this photo taken? The liminal space image you see now has been named the back room since 2019, and you can find the original post on a 4chan post that dates back to May 14th, 2019. Okay, so we found the original post. Easy, right? Well, it gets more complicated than that. Since the post was the first time we saw the backroom's photo with this caption, quote, if you're not careful and you no clip out of reality and the wrong areas, you'll end up in the back rooms, where it's nothing but the stink of old moist carpet, the madness of mono yellow, and the endless background noise of fluorescent lights at maximum hum buzz. Approximately 600 million square miles of randomly segmented empty rooms to be trapped in. God save you if you hear something wandering nearby, because it sure as hell has hurt you." Unquote. Like I mentioned, that post was the first time we saw the backroom's image with the caption, because the backroom's image without the caption actually dates back two days earlier on May the 12th, 2019. The image was posted on a 4chan thread titled, Post is quietly images that just feel off. Further down the thread, someone replied to the photo and typed out the original caption, and then two days later, someone stole the backroom's image and the comments that replied to that photo combined the two and posted it to 4chan's paranormal board and reddit's r slash green text two days later, which made the image popular. So that means on May 12, 2019, the image was given the lore of no clipping, large office space, monsters, and of course, the official backroom's name on that day. Even though that's the first time the backroom's name was given to the image, the image itself, in fact, dates back way earlier. So if the earliest backroom photo wasn't posted on May 12, 2019, then when was it posted? It actually dates back a whole nother year in 2018. Like Virtual Carbon stated, the name of the back rooms wasn't given until 2019, but earlier, the image was just called Empty Office Space, Abandoned Office, or even Liminal Space. Well, it wasn't called those things, but you could consider that since there was no official name to the unknown image. The earliest sighting of the original backrooms photo was posted to 4chan under a cursed image thread on April 21st, 2018, but there's a good chance that the image dates back earlier. 
Virtual Carbon reverse image searched the original Backrooms photo from 2018, but in his video he says that it won't work because Google removed the option where you can insert dates for the reverse image search. Virtual Carbon thought of everything and he even tried to find the wallpaper pattern. It's also safe to say that the image had to be taken in North America because Virtual Carbon confirmed that the outlets in the image are more common in North America and same goes for the ceiling. Virtual Carbon even examined the photo to see if anyone tampered with the image, but from the looks of his research, he found nothing suspicious. Even though the back rooms are known to be an office space, that doesn't mean that the real photo is from an office space and could be something else, like a house or a basement since those types of ceilings are common for houses too. It's most likely from a real estate website because that explains why you will take a photo of an empty building, but that is not confirmed and just speculation. People claim that the photo is from an abandoned Sears, which could be a possible lead since a lot of abandoned Sears do look like the backroom's image, but it's most likely not that. In my video on the backrooms image, I ran the image through JPEG Snoop, which is an image forensic tool that helps scan the image and it gives us more information about the photo, such as what possible camera it was taken with. And from the looks of it, the photo had to be taken before 2010, since the possible matched camera models that may have took the photo are all from the early 2000s. Most cameras from that era had a base resolution of 640 by 480p. This is the biggest lead we have so far on which era the photo was possibly taken. But just because we know when the photo was taken doesn't mean we know where it was taken. YouTuber David Crypt made his own backrooms video of him trying to find the original location on where the image was taken. He is no longer active on YouTube and has privated most of his search videos. But another YouTube channel by the name Bill's Channel did use some footage from David's old videos, so I'm going based on that. David has a Discord server about finding the location of the backroom's image, and they found a possible location in Augensburg, New York, but one of his viewers went to the location to debunk that claim. But on Google Earth in Japan, people found the backrooms. It looked like this. It's the backrooms but had a huge hole in it, and the building itself Look something straight out of Stranger Things. This was actually on Google Earth, and if you typed in the coordinates, you will find it, and Virtual Carbon did it himself, but later on, it was removed from Google Earth. Turns out it was fake, but the whole Google Earth thing was real, but that's not what the inside of the building looks like. I can't confirm what's inside it, but turns out a YouTuber made an ARG on Google Earth where they put fake backroom stuff in random locations on Google Earth. And I do not know how the YouTuber did that, like, did they hack Google Earth? Or how does that work? Cause I don't know. And there's so many fake leads on the search of the location on where the backroom's photo was taken, since people make similar looking photos to the original image. But hey, we're just trying to find the location on where the image was taken not play some ARG from a YouTuber that will lead to nowhere. But yeah, it's insane seeing a whole community trying to find the image because at the end of the day, it's just a photo and who cares about a stupid random photo on the internet? It does suck that we couldn't find the actual location on where this photo was taken, but I still had a lot of fun researching for this video and same goes to a virtual carbon and even though we didn't find the place where the backroom's image was taken, at least we have an idea when the photo was taken. But what makes this backrooms photo so special is because the photo is a liminal space image and because of the uncanny feeling, people are just more fascinated to this particular image. So that's why I had to explain what liminal photos were so you guys can understand why so many people are fascinated with this photo and why so many people are on the search on finding the location on where this photo was taken. And if you made it this far into the video, don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys think I earned it. And don't forget to check out Virtual Carbon on YouTube because right now, he is the only other YouTuber talking about the origins of the backroom's image. And all my research was from his channel. So while making this video, I just had to bring him on for this video. So don't forget to check him out. And also, I do have a YouTube membership. So Feel free to check it out if you guys want to, but you guys don't have to. And follow me on Instagram at MorbidForFun to get a lot of behind the scenes for my next videos. But other than that, thank you guys for watching and thank you for 10,000 subscribers. But that is all for today and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys.